this month's issue of Strings Magazine uh, has a little uh, feature on me uh, on a, in an article they call What's in the Case, uh, where we talk about our instruments. And uh, I've got a couple of interesting electric violins here that I discuss in the uh, article. And I thought, well, I'd give you a look at them and, and a listen so you can kind of see what they sound like. So this is the most recent one. This is by Joe Glazer, built by Joe Glazer here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it sounds kind of like this. Where's my good bow? There it is. Use this one, it makes everything sound better. All right, and then here's what the other one sounds like. So this one was built by Danny Farrington in LA, and uh, it sounds like this. Kind of similar, a little different. They have slightly different personalities. Joe Glazer, by the way, did some rebuilds on this. He uh, rebuilt this tailpiece, and it's got a new neck that Joe put on there. So, so back on the first instrument, the Joe Glazer instrument, uh, this one, I've rigged up a microphone here, and this is actually a vocal uh, headset mic. When you're using just a pickup, and this is a Barbera pickup, which is the best pickup you can use for electric violin, I think. Um, when you're just using the pickup, you miss a certain presence of the bow sound, you know, the bow on the string, and even a little bit of breath and breathing, and all of those things that we key into um, and hear as sounding like an acoustic instrument and sounding real instead of something sort of fake out of a keyboard or something. Um, and so this, uh, this microphone really aids in giving it a reality and a presence, which is especially useful when I'm playing with orchestras and I have to blend my electric instrument with a lot of acoustic instruments in an acoustic space. So uh, uh, it really helps with that reality factor and to get the whole big picture. And both of these instruments have a rig on the back that I have um, made up myself out of a uh, Kuhn shoulder rest and uh, some parts from Home Depot, like a five inch carriage bolt, some uh, cabinet hinges, and uh, just a piece of sh sheet aluminum that I bent. Um, and that along with a little modified uh, camera strap um, that I use as a neck strap is how I do this, see? and. No hands, freedom of head motion. And uh, by the way, for you acoustic instrument players who are like, I wish I had one of those for my viola, guess what? I'm working on one. This was built to be a kind of a replica of this uh, so that I would have two instruments um, that I could switch easily between where it wouldn't feel like, too com like switching from viola to violin or anything. And one of the uh, differences, um, this is the newer one that we did with this one, that uh, this one has this double cutaway, which looks cool as hell, I think. Uh, looks like a Stratocaster, but it's a little weird for violin players if you don't have this uh, upper bout here that really kind of we use as a location device when we're getting the upper positions. So uh, I was missing that on this one. So that was one little improvement that we made. We tried a different uh, type of uh, maple on, on the top. This maple is a little softer, gives it a little warmer sound. So a few little differences, but basically uh, designed to be um, uh, identical so that I could have a spare in my case in case uh, I break a string or something like that. Because, you know, if you play electric six string violin, you bust a string on stage, you can't just reach over and grab the concertmaster Stradivarius, you know, uh, this one's got six.